Mufasa to the pack. It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend, your daddy's worst nightmare. NBA 2K23 news for you guys, even though I will say compared to all the other days, today has been a pretty slow news day, but I'm going to cover everything that we know and all that kind of stuff in today's video. If you like this kind of content when it comes to NBA 2K23 news, updates, leaks, and all that kind of stuff, I'm the number one channel to give out the news daily like this. So if you like this kind of content, please join the pack and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot and leave a like on the video to help the video grow. Let's get the video started with the first and basically only real piece of news today. NBA 2K leaks and Intel says this. He says, this is the best buy NBA 2K23 game description. Let's read it out to you and see what we can get out of it. The game has changed. The next evolution of ultra real gameplay has arrived on new gen with NBA 2K23. New ways to attack off the dribble and at the rim are matched again in intuitive one-on-one -on -one positional shading systems to unlock even more control and the most authentic basketball experience yet. Now, I am a communication major that, you know, has a degree in digital communications when I went to college. And I can tell you right now that all these little fluffy words are things to tell you nothing. It's very ambiguous ways to say things that are going nowhere. This, they haven't told me anything new, right? I, I don't know what they're trying to say. There's a couple things I can pull out of this. The first thing is that it's saying specifically for new generation, which means because I'm not talking about current generation, either current gen got nothing new, or maybe they're only talking about next gen here. Not sure about that. The other thing is the intuitive one-on-one -on -one positional shading system. Now it says new ways to attack off the dribble and at the rim, which means there's new ways to dribble into like a isolation situation. And there's new things you can do at the rim that are new. Now that could be maybe that like you can hit contested layups with like a skill based system because you know how you have a shot meter for dunking now. Maybe there's like a layup meter to hit contested layups maybe. And then off the dribble, I have no clue what they're talking about there. So it does sound like there's new gameplay stuff, but I'm not sure specifically what they're talking about. And then this whole intuitive 1v1 or one-on-one -on -one positional shading system. I don't know enough about coding or, or creating game design to know what shading system means and positional shading system. But to me, all this sounds like is fluff words to tell you nothing that's brand new. But whatever i've always said that like players are very odd when they're guarding each other and when they like slide off of each other and maybe this is going to create a better physics system maybe but i'm not going to take any of this too too serious the next thing is nba 2k themselves put up a little photo a couple days ago basically saying what we're getting in august which is a gameplay trailer jordan challenge my nba my team, my career, and the city, which means we're not gonna get anything for the next couple of weeks in July. That's at least what I'm getting out of this because he does say, or 2K does say, coming this August. So not expecting anything in the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be a couple dry weeks and we're gonna have to figure out what else to talk about. But basically, I'm assuming this is the order, which is, this is actually pretty accurate. You start off with the gameplay. They're gonna do like a Jordan challenge video, which will be the new Michael Jordan stuff, which I've been pretty excited about. And then they're gonna do a little like, they, they do like a paper, right? And they give you descriptions about my NBA, my team and my career and all the new stuff they added. And then finally they drop the city trailer at the end of the year, right? That's what we should be expecting. I really don't care about this gameplay trailer that's coming up because it's just literally gonna show a slow motion to player face scans. It's like the only thing I can talk about is the face scan changes, but like the gameplay trailer is not gonna matter. Unless there really is a big difference in this one-on-one -on -one shading system bs that they're talking about i don't really care about any of this until we get basically to the jordan challenge they said they changed my nba but i don't believe it and then city and my career and that's all i'm going to care about personally the next thing 2k leagues and intel talks about this he says what's your favorite thing from nba 2k22 that you would like to see in nba 2k23 hmm. you know i didn't really think about this and i probably should have thought about it before i recorded this video but what would i like to see come back I personally like the dunk meter. I like the dunk meter a lot. I do. Because in 2K21, people were getting posted left and right and it was so dumb. Adding the 2K dunk meter, honestly, it, it gave it a little bit of skill. I'm not saying that like it was super like hard to do. It's definitely a little easy at times, but like the difference between some bum that never played the game before can dunk on me versus now you actually kind of have to know what you're doing and have a good build for it. I like that. So the dunk meter was a, was a W. Badge plugs says rebirth. He says he loved it. That's also a W. Any other game, like for example FIFA, 
if I play FIFA and I get skill points, I can make whatever build I want with whatever I have. Now with Rebirth, it's kind of similar where like you can make a new build after maxing out your build and get a bunch of badges off rip and max out to 90. That's super clutch. I still think it's idiotic that you have to pay for a build when you've already made a build, but that's personal opinion. Next thing, Solo says this. Playing guard on 2K takes more skill than playing center, true or false. This created a big controversy in the community. I'm going to say, let, let's just be honest. Everyone's going to say guard because first guards are the most popular thing in 2K. Everybody who's like a, a content creator plays guard. Every, everyone in the comments, badge plug says true. Guards take more skills, not even in like an opinion and, and everything, right? So everyone agrees that guards technically take more skill. And I, I agree. However, I'm gonna play devil's advocate as someone who's played center and guard before. Yes, playing guard takes more skill, like hitting fades, hitting tough shots, movement, all this kind of stuff and dribble stuff and, and even learning how to play defense. It's way harder to play defense as a guard than as a center. I think so. But you will not win games if your center is like trash. If your center can't shoot, doesn't know how to position for rebounds and can't play defense, you're not winning anything, bro. Ever, ever, ever. Because you're going to have no spacing. So that means you're screwed. You're going to have no rebounding, which is really screwed. If you've ever played 2K, you know rebounding is super important. You can win with a shitty guard. I'm gonna, a center can carry you really, really hard. Let's put it this way. If you have two teams, one has a really good center and a terrible guard, and one has a really good guard and a terrible center, I guarantee you a hundred times, the center team is going to have a way higher win percentage than the guard team. It is, every single time. So yes, is playing guard more skilled than center? Sure, but I think playing center is way more important and has way more value than playing guard personal opinion okay now i guess the final thing to really talk about real quick is luck tv gives us a full real screenshot of the shot meter shout out to loading the goat who made this little design this is gonna be the shot meter for nba 2k23 and i'm a little weird out about it because so this is kind of similar to nba 2k 18 19 and 20 where it will like a little bar to your side and, and, I, and this is my personal favorite like shot meter ever, even though I'm going to turn it off day one. It doesn't change the fact that this is one of my more favorite shot meters ever. And then if I ever do use it for like a center build that has like a 73 point rating, then maybe I'm going to want to see my shot like timing for a little bit. I like this shot meter, but I will say I don't like this because I saw the picture and it's like the green zone is faded. And that makes me feel like that here to here right where you see my mouse is going to be ambiguous of whether or not it's going to green except for like up here it's always going to green right i don't like unless this is white unless this is like whiting it i'm not sure i don't like the ambiguousness of the green zone personally i i kind of need to know what's a perfect green unless it's only this but yeah okay boys that's it let me know what you think about all this information about nba 2k23 are you excited about it leave it in the comments below and if you like the channel please give it a sub I'll see you guys next time.